happy Sunday everyone. It is currently quarter to eight and I'm the only one up. I actually woke up at quarter to seven and I just couldn't go back to sleep so I thought I might as well come down and do some tidying up. So tidied up the living room, um, tidied up the kitchen a bit and uh, today there's quite a few things I would like to do. Um, the weather is really nice right now so I'm kind of feeling like going for a walk after uh, once the boys are awake but we'll see uh, i want to start out the garden uh, before we go there are some things i need to take out like the strawberry plants are not doing anything anymore now so some of them are dying so these are going to go before i just want to only keep in the garden things that are currently growing or that are just you know fine and will survive the winter anything else i'm going to take out now just so there's less watering work for whoever will water our garden while we are away so i'm going to sort that out the sunflowers are most most of them are dead now so i'm going to remove all the dead plants and you know sort through things a bit um i need to do some laundry because i'm going to be actively starting to pack tomorrow most of the packing is going to happen on tuesday and wednesday because alfie will be away so it means i can just do it more efficiently uh today i'm more than it's more going to be like preparation work, if you know what I mean. Um, and I, um, I've just edited the vlog from yesterday. I'm going to edit my video for not this Thursday, the Thursday after. And I, um, um, I need to film as well a video for the last Thursday, the day we come back actually. Before we go, I also have to pack a lot of the kitchen in boxes because... Um, as you may know, we are getting the kitchen redone when we come back and we have three days between the day we come back and the day the work starts. So uh, we really need to you know, have everything emptied by then. And so the plan is that most of the things, like all the things we won't need like until we go and for the three days we're back, I want to pack before we go. So then that's done and it's a lot less work whenever we come back to do it. So I might give that a start today. I have saved a lot of boxes, so my utility room is overflowing with boxes usually I flatten them and we eventually bring them to the dump if we have too many or put them in the recycling bin but just there's no point in me flattening them all to build them up again very soon so there is piles and piles of boxes in there uh, which is not very handy so I am going to try and start packing that so then that will be a good to you know a good thing done so it is now almost one o'clock and we are going to have lunch, which is James just put it in the oven. Um, we have uh, booked a car for when we are in France. Usually when we go, my uncle has a um, little car that he uses for work when he goes to work and it's raining, but he has a scooter too. So in the summer he very rarely used it and usually he was letting us borrow his car while we were there which was very handy because my parents have my parents have a car that has five seats and obviously with all of us it's more than that and if my sister is here it's even more and uh, we found out that uh, this little car uh, somebody crashed into it so it has to be scrapped so we knew we would not be getting that car and Depending on my having my parents' car, it means that we basically have to time every single thing we do and we can't go anywhere we want. You know, it's just very restricting. It is like they would lend it to us when they don't need it, but it does require us organizing everything. And it means like if we're having a nice time somewhere and they need the car, we just have to go anyway because they need the car back and things like that. It's just not very practical. And last night, my sister suggested that I looked uh, in France, they have websites. Now, they might have some in the UK, I don't know, I've never looked into it, but uh, let's say you have a car that you don't use for any reason. A lot of people have cars and, for example, during the week when they work, they just walk to work and they don't use their car. They can put this, their car for rent, for people to rent for any amount of days they want. And it costs a lot cheaper than, um, it's a lot cheaper than renting a car in a car rental place. But you still have like insurances and stuff like that you can have with it so you are covered so that's what we ended up doing we rented a small car where my parents live you will see in the vlogs when we get there or you may have seen that already in the vlogs before uh, those streets were built when cars did not exist basically uh, so it's very very difficult to park and 
every all the streets are tiny streets that are uphill so you usually have to parallel park in a tiny space while reversing uphill and I do mean a hill not just a slight elevation in the road it's a proper hill um, so having a big car there is not very practical so we're gonna take a car which is a very small car it's only if it's four people and it has a tiny boot but it's so it is handier to be able to move around and it does fit we're bringing the small buggy so it fits quite small and it should fit in the boot no problem so that's what we have we won't have it from the first day we are arriving on the third day and we'll have it from the saturday morning and we stay until the thursday two weeks later and we'll have it so we we'll, we won't have it the first two days we're there and the last two days we're there but we'll have it all the rest of the time which is nice because now we can actually look at going further and visit other things we haven't seen before and things like that so it is quite exciting it is now 10 to 5 I was planning to go in the garden this afternoon and sort out everything and literally five minutes after I decided okay I'm going to go in the garden I actually contacted all my neighbors to see who wanted some lettuce because I have plenty ready to be picked that I won't be able to eat before we go and probably won't be good anymore so I was you know getting ready to see how many lettuces I needed to cut and all that next thing lashing rain yay so um I am in the middle of updating my planner for the first half of the week. From there, we're going to France. So, I don't use my planner in the same way whenever um, I go on holidays. Well, I have a lot of stuff penciled in, even if it's really hard to see. But um, I kind of use it more like as a journal thing. And I don't know if you remember, for Christmas, I got a little uh, printer. Which prints little... Hold on. I'm going to show you, it might be easier, so then if you don't know what I'm talking about, it will make more sense. Um, I got a little Polaroid printer, and I'm going to show you what it can do. Can you see there? You can print little pictures, and when you cut them in half, they are exactly the size of a box, which is really handy, so that's what I use it for. I write uh, memories, and I usually print like a picture per day. So, But I usually do that when I come home, so I don't have to print the printer and stuff. And in the meantime, I take notes, you know. Um, I'm trying to get everything back in. I also need, I haven't started, this is was the packing list for Owen. And I need to uh, erase everything and do one for us now. So it's just after six o'clock and there was a massive change of plan compared to what I said. The weather turned out to be nice. So I went in the garden, cut out a lot of, well, all the lettuces basically. I've kept some um, for my lunches, but um, uh, a lot of my neighbors are happy to take some. We also have some neighbors have a rabbit. Uh, so I'm keeping for the rabbit. There's a lot of leaves that are either broken like on their own or they've been half eaten by little bugs and stuff. So what I do is that I keep those for the rabbit. Um, and I'm going to make, just getting everything out, a bolognese sauce now and i have cut out i've made a little bouquet garni from the fresh herbs from the garden to cook it so it should be nice and then i'll make a quiche as well uh yeah just to interject if the sauce tastes as good as they smell i'm in for a treat yeah it's only the herbs you can you can smell for now but you can really smell the herbs really really good i have some carrots for my Chop some carrots inside the sauce as well to use them up. I'm trying to use up stuff in my fridge basically, so I'm gonna do that and I will keep you updating, updated on the progress of the sauce. So I have the sauce going and I have a quiche in the oven. I have some eggs to use that are good until tomorrow. Six. And in my fridge, I have a big bang theory playing there. <laughs> in my fridge, so I'm trying to use up everything. So I have lettuce that I will have with the thing. Some of like the junkers and all will keep until we come back, but I have see all those pouches of yogurt and that yogurt that will not be good and when we come back. So I am gonna make a yogurt cake with it. Uh, it's fromage frais, technically not yogurt, but I'm hoping it will work anyway. So I'm probably gonna select only oh maybe I'm just mix <laughs> all the flavors and try and do it. The sauce is finished, the quiche is finished. 
and some water to burn for the pasta to have with the sauce and I have some yogurt cakes baking in the oven I've made three in the and I had enough to make like one biggish one and two smaller ones uh, so I can bring some to my French res tomorrow um, just thought what I'm at it I might as well just make use up all the stuff that's gonna go off anyway and at least it will make a cake for somebody instead of ending up in the bin so I will show you how they look when they are all cooked It's now 20 past 11. Um, Alfie was asleep early in the evening and then he woke up and he's been fighting sleep since. So James has him in the office while he's playing a video game on one of his screen of his computer. He has Peppa Pig on for Alfie. Um, I just spent the evening editing all the pictures I have um, that my mom sent and all to put up on Facebook. Uh, on my personal one though, so it's, I'm afraid it's not accessible for everybody. Um, and I'm going to stop the vlog here and head to bed because I am absolutely wrecked. The next three days are quite packed with stuff to do. So um, I probably will have quite a lot to show you about, you know, how I get organized to get the suitcases and all that. So for all of you who like the organization things, watch this space. Anyway, I am going to bed. I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye!